Hello, it's Becca, and welcome to the Carriage House, a place where you can find cozy inspiration for your hearth and home. Today, I'm going to be sharing some things that you can do inside your home this Christmas and holiday season in order to create a sense of peace and inner calm, which I often refer to as huga. And huga is a Danish term referring to a state of coziness and just simply being content even while doing simple mundane tasks throughout our day. It can be quite difficult to maintain the sense of inner calm, especially with worry and turmoil in the world right now. But since a lot of us are going to be home for the holidays this year, then what better timing to start creating huga in our homes this Christmas. So grab a warm and cozy blanket and looking forward to sharing these tips with you and help bring more joy, happiness, and cheer into your home this year. One surefire way to attract peace and contentment into our homes is by having a clean home. The more messes, dirt, and clutter there are, all that can bring in so much negative energy and it can just make you feel overwhelmed this holiday season. Our home doesn't have to be perfect, but our home is our sanctuary. If our space is well managed and cared for, then other problems tend not to be as magnified, especially going to sleep at night. There's nothing like climbing into a warm bed at night knowing your home is clean and tidy so you can be prepared for the next day. One thing that I love to do while cleaning is put Christmas music on. I tend to be drawn towards more of the quiet and calming music, but you can put something a little bit more upbeat on. I also love to add wintry types of essential oils to my floor cleaner during Christmas time. This is really nice, especially pine. There's just something wonderfully good about it and it also helps connect us with nature as well. It can remind us of the ever beloved Christmas tree. The scent of pine can also help ease stress, bring clarity to the mind, and even help eliminate fatigue. After cleaning the floors today, the whole place now smelled of fresh pine and lemon. And for some reason, the house seemed to now sparkle with Christmas warmth. Mm -hmm. But focusing on the task at hand, whether it being present in the music you have on or smelling the scent of the pine aroma, just focusing on the present helps keep Huga alive in our home, heart, and minds. I know this may seem a little far-fetched to some, but a wonderful way to add life, companionship, and even cozy texture to your home is to adopt a furry little cat. Especially this year, a lot of people are not able to spend time with family, and some will even be completely alone. Some shelters will even offer a cat free of charge as a companion to senior citizens. You can go online or call your local animal shelter to request appointments and have everything set up for you. But there are so many positive effects to having furry friends in your home. They can relieve depression. They can brighten up your day. They do not judge you. And just seeing them around the home, whether it's relaxing under the Christmas tree or cuddling on a cozy blanket, just sleeping in the sun, can bring a sense of calm and peace within your home. And the thought of rescuing an abandoned cat or even dog, it just can bring an overwhelming joy into your heart. One of my favorite things to do in order to create warmth and intimacy at home is through light. There's something wonderfully magic about living light, which can be found in a candle's flame or a wood-burning stove. The sun is living light and even the moon, but we can still try to mimic that warmth within our homes by turning on soft glowing lamps. I even turn mine on during the day. I notice I tend to relax more in a softly illuminated place. Huga simply lies in paying attention to the rhythm of our daily lives.
next thing we can do this Christmas to help create huga in our homes and in our heart is by connecting with others whom we cannot connect with physically. And Christmas cards are a wonderful pastime. It's a great and inexpensive way to show others you care. And it's also therapeutic just to sit down and actually write something down with an actual pencil on real paper. But you can share recipes and Christmas cards. Something I've done in the past is print out bookmarks online that may have an inspirational saying on them or, or, or a quote and I would laminate them and put them in the Christmas cards and of course adding photos of your family is always great to add to. Connecting through your own voice and creating care packages at home are also powerful ways to stay connected. In Huga, a conversation is not meant for debating or bolstering ourselves with facts, but rather simply sharing our ideas with one another in a relaxed and meaningful way. And just like Mother Teresa said, we cannot all do great things, but we can do small things with great love. The next tip I have to share is to add wood and natural elements to your home. We love to use pine cones throughout our home this season. Our children will simply go outside and look for different varieties since we have several different kinds outside our home and either make crafts out of them or we'll simply add a ribbon and a sprig of evergreen and hang them on our Christmas tree. They're also beautiful to display on their own. Sometimes I'll even put a drop or two of the pine essential oil that I showed you earlier on the pine cones, which helps bring that wonderful rustic pine scent into your home. But bringing nature indoors this winter helps us stay connected with the vitality and spirit of our earthly nature. And lastly, adding simple pleasures around the home during the season, such as comfy pillows and warm blankets, can always help bring that sense of comfort to yourself and others in your home. Just simply seeing them around the house on a couch, a chair, or the bed during the day can bring promise of peace and relaxation at the end of a stressful day. We can share this essence of Huga to one another this Christmas by simply practicing everything I've mentioned today. And I, would, and I would love to hear what your thoughts are on creating a warm and peaceful home this Christmas and holiday season. And thank you so much and hope to see you again soon. Bye.